Hello Magical Butterflies, this is Xtina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope you were having a magical day, night or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe. If you are subscribed, please make sure to hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I post a new video. If you are interested in booking a guidance reading or a guidance session with me, they can be booked in my Etsy shop. My list of services, as well as my link to my Etsy shop, is listed below. If you're interested in purchasing one of the decks I created, or the Twin Flame Music deck I co-created with my soul sister, if you're in the United States, they can be purchased in my Etsy shop, if you are international, there is a special ordering link for you below. My Instagram, my Patreon Butterfly Community, my blog website, my Facebook, and my donation links are listed below. This reading is going to be video number two in the chakra series. This video will be about the root chakra. Please use your own discernment when watching this video. Please only take the message or messages that speak directly to your soul and what doesn't speak directly to your soul, release it and let it fly. The root chakra is the first chakra. It is known as the base. It is located at the base of your spine, your tailbone basically. The element for the root is earth and the color of the chakra is red. I personally envision the root chakra as a branch or a vine that goes from the base of your spine to your feet. I envision this branch or vine helping keep my feet planted firmly on the ground. With my feet planted firmly on the ground, I become grounded, stable, have the ability to center myself, and can stay focused on the present moment. The root chakra helps with the functioning of the lower part of the body. When it's off or out of alignment, you will feel anxious, nervous, dizzy, have that vertigo feeling. To me, that means you may be too much in your head and balance to the ground is needed. Crystals and essential oils that are suggested or recommended, I'm going to go over them. But please use your own discernment when choosing a crystal or an oil. You will feel called to use the ones that speak to your soul. Crystal stones that are recommended. Red jasper, bloodstone, garnet, smoky quartz, black tourmaline, and hematite. Essential oils are patchouli, frankincense, and cedarwood. Meditation can help you with balancing the root chakra. There are a lot of free meditations and guided meditations on YouTube and Spotify. If you like meditation, if you like to sit still and listen to meditation music, you can find one that speaks to your soul that can help you balance your chakra. So now I'm going to bring forth guidance messages from spirit about the root chakra. So the tarot card that is associated with the root chakra is the world card. The world symbolizes the culmination of the fool's journey. It is the card of the universal understanding and the highest level of consciousness that can be achieved. The world brings with it a completion of a cycle and a promise of a new beginning. The character depicted in this card sits on top of the world in the lotus pose. She appears to be meditating, listening to the hum of the universe. She wears a necklace with the Hindu symbol Om, symbolizing the most perfect integration of mind, body, and spirit. So because the root chakra is the base chakra, the one that keeps you grounded, it makes sense that the world card is the tarot card for this chakra. It is just a reminder 
to tell you that to be at the top of the world, the top of your world, you must be centered, you must be grounded, and you must have your feet planted firmly on the ground. The three decks that I'm going to use for guidance, I'm going to be using the Chakra Love Raise Your Crystal Vibrations by Katie McInshaw, the Chakra Reading Cards by Rachel Charman, and the Chakra Healing Deck Personal Affirmations for Aligned Wellness by the Sage Goddess. And the World Card is from the Crystal Visions Tarot. I'm just going to move the world card right here. Divine Wisdom, number 36, which equals a 9. So Divine Wisdom is telling me that by having your root chakra open, balanced, and activated, you then open the door to having wisdom come in. You find the wisdom to keep you grounded, to keep you centered, and to keep you moving forward. And with that divine wisdom, you get soul healing, number 35, which equals an 8. You then start the healing process to heal your soul, to heal your mind, to heal your spirit, and to get into that energy of the world. Now see how she's got butterflies around her. That shows me that you will be able to bring a transformation with this soul healing by staying grounded. And what that is going to do, it's going to teach you the self-mastery of the chakras, where when you keep the base chakra balanced, it just sends an even flow of energy up through the sacral, the solar, the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown, and they all stay in alignment. And it really just helps you master and really pay attention to what your body is telling you. You start to listen to your body more. You start to pay attention to what your body is telling you. And that brings you inner strength, number 14, which equals a five. So inner strength shows me that you will make a very powerful change within you to go within, to find the strength, to overcome any obstacle, to relax, to not push yourself, to really just start listening to what your body has to say. And with that, you will find the inspiration with number 11. Now 11 is the number of new beginnings. It also equals a two, which is about partnerships and balance. And you see how the sun, that could be a sunset or a sunrise, take it as you see it. But with the sunrise, you're seeing the sun rising, the darkness is ending. With the sunset, it's just the ending of a peaceful and beautiful day. Sunset, the end of the day, always brings a reflection period. But it also brings you the energy to reflect on the day and to have the opportunity to start fresh the next morning. And what this is also going to bring you is creativity. By having your root chakra open and balanced, you're going to get creative. You're going to want to create and grow. I'm seeing like a tree, a vine, just growing, getting strong, and just being in the creative juices. So if you're an artist or you're intuitive where you work um, doing readings or something very similar, healing, you're going to get really creative on how you can change your business. And the key to all of this is to listen to your body. Listen to what your root chakra is telling you. Listen to where you need to plant the roots to find your way, to find your passion. And it will help you stay open and balanced in the sense where your feet are planted firmly on the ground. And by listening to your body, you do listen to your intuition, which comes from the third eye chakra. And all things work best in conjunction with all things. Chakra balance equilibrium. So since when your root chakra is off, you can get a little dizzy 
These are crystals that are coming through that can help you work with the equilibrium to make sure the equilibrium is balanced and you're not so much in your head. Clear quartz, amethyst, lapis lazuli, jade, citrine, carnelian, and smoky quartz. And by bringing this into your practice, your daily practice, here we have the root chakra, the foundation, and the crystal coming through as hematite. Foundation is what ca the castle of your soul is built upon. So it's your soul journey. It's your soul healing. You will find the base. You will find the foundation. And I'm hearing the song From the Ground Up by Dan and Shay. So I will link that song below because that song has a special message for somebody watching this video. You want to build everything from the ground up, brick by brick. It's just like when somebody's building a house or a building, you start with the foundation, you start from the literally the ground up, from the ground floor to the ceiling to the roof, and then you create everything inside once you have the base and the structure built. So that's how you need to see the root chakra. And an affirmation for this is that this chakra is going to help you with divine alignment, number three. Like a shooting star that has guided onto the depths of the earth's expanse, so too are you gracefully guiding or gliding along and grounding into the terrain with a message only you can bring. Do you remember your sacred offering? Have you tapped into the breadth and depth of your mystery? Shine and allow yourself to be seen and to be open widely to the wisdom of this journey. The chakra is the earth star, the crystal is tekite, and the herb is red clover. So I do actually have a guidebook for this deck, so I'm just going to pull the meaning to just see if there's any information that just the collective needs to hear. So divine alignment means trust, wisdom, harmony. So ask yourself this, where are your thoughts in this moment? Do you trust all that is aligned and unfolding in divine time? In what areas can you learn to surrender and trust a little more? What must you release and what must you allow to be in divine alignment? Do you know what alignment feels like in your body, in your mind, and in your soul? So what I'm really getting is that when the root chakra is off, you don't feel aligned. You don't trust the process. You get too much in your head. So what are your thoughts in this moment? Are you content? Are you trusting of your situation, of your life? Do you trust that all is aligned and unfolding in divine timing? If the answer is no, that is when you ask yourself, in what areas can you learn to surrender and trust a little more? And I feel for a lot of people, it's love and career. Those are the two biggest areas of life that people will struggle with to trust. Especially if you're in a complicated love situation, you're separated from somebody, you have to learn to trust and to surrender and to allow things to unfold naturally because with divine timing, there is no such thing as a clock in the spiritual realm. Everything aligns when spirit intends. So sometimes in order for you to learn how to surrender and trust, you do have to release. So that's when you ask yourself, what must you release and what must you allow to be in divine alignment? So what do you need to release that is going to help you stay in this receiving energy to get into the OM energy to allow this transformation what is meant for you to come in it's all about trusting it's all about believing and it's all about just knowing that what is meant for you is never going to pass you by the root chakra can really help you get grounded it can help you stay centered and it can help you really just keep your feet firmly planted on the ground so you can Stay in the energy of moving forward, creating what it is that you want in your life, 
going within to find the answers if you don't know. It is okay not to know because sometimes you have to find what you don't want in order to align with what you do want. Trusting, allowing, and aligning is really going to help bring everything full circle. So get into the earth energy of the root chakra, get connected to the earth, connect with spirit animals, connect with nature, listen to nature sounds, birds, water, just any type of nature sounds. I'm even hearing owls. And really just work on getting yourself grounded. I do hope this reading has brought you clarity and guidance and what messages Spirit has for you with the root chakra. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Please feel free to share this with anyone who you feel would like to hear the messages. Let me know in the comment section below what you do to balance your root chakra and how you handle when your energy is not so grounded. I look forward to the rest of this video series. I hope you do too. Make sure the bell notification is set. Love and light to you.